I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm William Holtz, and this is your Lake of the Ozarks Weekly Report brought to you by Rick Ball, Ford, Lincoln, and Sedalia, Iguana Boat Sales, and Slumberland Furniture in Osage Beach. Today we'll be focusing on our local schools. We'll feature some local talent in the form of theater, and we'll look back at the annual Lake of the Ozarks Fall Festival. And as always, we'll preview upcoming events. We'll have all of that and much more after we hear a word from our friends at Rick Ball, Ford, Lincoln, and Sedalia. If you're looking to save money on a new Ford right now, Rick Ball Ford Lincoln is the place to be. Get a 2017 Ford Explorer with 0% for 72 months plus $1,500 cash. 2017 Ford Edge, 0% for 72 months and $2,000 cash. 2017 Ford F-150 with 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 cash. We're committed to you by offering a great selection of new and used vehicles and a one-of-a-kind buying experience. Stop by for a test drive or shop us online at rickball.com. A little while back, we mentioned here on the Weekly Report that the Camdenton R3 School District was looking for artwork to display their annual Veterans Day assembly. Well, not only are they looking for some art, but the district, along with Dr. Paula Brown, would like to cordially invite the community to join students, teachers, and staff in this wonderful assembly of remembrance and recognition. This is a chance to honor those who have given their lives for this country and its freedom. The ceremony will be held at the Camdenton High School on November 10th from 9 to 10.30 a.m. Veterans and their families are also welcome to to attend an honorary breakfast starting at 8 a.m. in the high school's auxiliary gym. The School of the Osage is taking steps to implement a community mentorship program for ninth grade students. Now, this program will focus on pairing ninth grade students with a qualified adult mentor that shares a common hobby or interest. The program, called Next Generation Mentoring, was recently endorsed by the General Board of Education. Next Generation Mentoring fills a gap where coaching and mentoring at the secondary level is lacking and the relationships built between students and mentors will provide students with preparation for the workforce as well as an increased awareness of their options following high school. Those options include career paths, technical schools, universities, and much more, as well as skills it'll take like building resumes. Now, groups in the community that have already expressed interest in the program include the Daybreak and Noon Rotary Clubs, the Osage High School Interact Club, the Lake of the Ozarks Regional Economic Development Corporation, and the Lake of the Ozarks Chamber of Commerce. Now, starting up the program, it would begin with an or orientation and training with the mentors, and then it would be followed by face-to-face -face meetings with the students. From there, it would be a blended mentoring leaning heavily on electronic methods such as email and other online activities regarding career interest and hobby activities with the mentor and students. The Camdenton School District is also looking for volunteers for their volunteer program. Interested individuals would be taking on tasks such as listening to students read, helping teachers with projects in the classroom, working as a library aide, as well as clerical assistance, and just supporting the staff. This volunteer program serves several Lake Area schools. If you would like more information or you're interested in joining this fantastic volunteer program, please call the Camdenton School District Office of on Volunteer Services at 573-346-9243. Or you can go to their website at camdentonschools.org under Program tab and then select School Volunteer Program. Last Thursday evening, Andrew Evans, one of Lake TV's top videographers, and I had the pleasure of seeing some very impressive local talent on display in the form of theater. Andrew and I traveled to see the musical Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street in Jefferson City, which was produced and presented by Capital City Productions. Once again, we had a chance to see just how many talented individuals the Lake of the Ozarks boost as local Adam Shields landed the lead role of Sweeney Todd while his wife, Kendra, played the role of Mrs. Lovett. Now, these two on stage together were nothing short of brilliant. Now, they weren't alone as joining these two talented individuals on the main stage was the Lake's very own Matt Loftus. Matt played the role of Beetle Bamford, and I'm not sure there could be a more fitting person to play this role than Matt Loftus. The show features everything from suspense and thrills, romance and wonderful vocal talent in the form of songs along with a good amount of comedy. So if you enjoy the theater and want to support some of the lake's talented individuals, make sure you make plans to see one of the three remaining shows before it's too late. I'm telling you, you won't regret going up to Jefferson City and seeing this show. There will be a dessert theater showing this Thursday night and then a dinner theater version on both Friday and Saturday evening. Now limited tickets are still available but they're not going to last long as they are selling fast. For more information about the show, show times, or to purchase tickets, visit Capital City Productions Org. And one more time, Adam and Kendra Shields, along with you, my man, Matt Loftus, you guys belong on stage in the spotlight performing and doing what it is that you so clearly love. Amazing job in the show and phenomenal job representing our lake area. 
This coming Tuesday, October 24th, the Citizens Against Domestic Violence will be doing a fundraiser at Outback Steakhouse. The CADV is a nonprofit organization and shelter servicing domestic violence and sexual assault victims in the Lake Area. They are in desperate need for items such as paper towels, toilet paper, and laundry detergent. They are also in need of other items such as women's undergarments, school clothing in all sizes, baby soap and shampoo, diapers sizes 4 through 6, white trash bags, large black trash bags, body wash, shampoo, and conditioner feminine hygiene products, gallon size freezer bags, dishwasher detergent pods, dish soap, hand soap, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, and gift certificates to local grocery stores, as well as Walmart and gas cards. If you're able to donate any of these items, um, check out the event at Outback Steakhouse. It's the perfect way to do it, and it'll take place from 5 to 8 p.m. on Tuesday the 24th. The restaurant will be offering a free Bloomin' Onion or plate of cheese fries in exchange for an item from the CADV's wish list. Additionally, monetary donations will be accepted and we here at Lake TV highly encourage you to stop by and help an incredible organization that is truly making a difference in the lives of many people around our lake. Next, Lake TV takes you to the annual Fall Festival at the Osage Beach City Park and we'll preview upcoming events happening around the lake this weekend. But first, a word from our sponsors at Iguana Boat Sales and Slumberland Furniture in Osage Beach. Introducing the Dream Suite experience at Slumberland, the ultimate place to test drive a mattress. Best brands, best price. Save over $1,000 on this Sealy Plush Queen Set, just $5.97. Slumberland, it's a good life. It didn't exactly feel like fall at this year's Fall Festival at Osage Beach City Park. But a brisk breeze kept the temperature tolerable as hundreds of families celebrated the event. And there were some changes at this year's festival. This looks like a pretty good, uh, pretty good festival this year. What do you think? It is a pretty good festival. We've done, uh, we've put, made quite a few changes this year. We moved it into October, it used to be in September. Uh -huh. Now it's uh, October 14th, second weekend in October. We've added some, uh, we added a, a pony, live pony carousel this year. Uh, one of the other things we tried to do this year was uh, get a lot more stuff on stage. We've got the children's comedian up on stage right now. We just got done with a pie eating contest that we had at noon and it was a big hit. Uh, we gave away a hundred dollar gift card to Deerbirds. They sponsored that for us. Uh, we've got a pumpkin carving or a pumpkin coloring station this year, and that was a big hit. We already ran out of pumpkins, so we're going to have to expand that next year. It's really, really been a great, great year for us. A little something for everybody. A little bit something for everybody. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have uh, we have some uh, specialty craft brews here this year. We've got some Oktoberfest here. We've got some pumpkin beer here something for mom and dad. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> there was plenty to do and see at the festival, including a hayride, games of skill, and no frogs were injured, by the way, and a chance to beat your own drum. Hey, if you missed this year's fall festival, you'll just have to wait till next year. Bob Spicer for Lake TV. For the next three Saturdays, the Lodge of Four Seasons will be offering their traditional family hay rides. The rides will travel along the Lake of the Ozarks and through the resort, and they will be included in the resort fees for those staying overnight at the lodge. However, the event is open to the public and costs just $5. Hay rides will include hot cocoa and s'mores as well as mini pumpkins for the kids. The hay rides take place on Saturdays from 5 to 8 p.m. on October 21st and 28th, and then again on November 4th. The Camden County Museum is hosting Apple Butter Days and Fall Festival on October 20th and 21st from 9 to 4 p.m. There will be craft booths and demonstrations, quilt raffle, as well as yummy apple butter and apple pies to enjoy. Now, for a donation, you can also feast on a chili and soup lunch. If you would like more information or are interested in booth availability, you can call 573-346-7191.
This Friday, Shiny Bluff Winery will be hosting another one of their fantastic Paint the Town nights. This is a great opportunity to get out of the house and spend the night painting and enjoying some fine wine from 6 to 8 p.m. You'll have supplies including paint, brushes, a canvas, and instructions provided. And again, this is Friday evening. To sign up or learn more, you can call 573-365-1100. If you're a hot wing connoisseur, like I consider myself to be, you're going to want to check out this Thursday's Lake of the Ozarks Wing Fest, and it's set to take place at Lodge of the Four Seasons. Now, you're probably used to hearing the event titled Wing Ding, but it now operates under a new name, and it's called Wing Fest. Now, the event benefits local charities and actually determines who has the best wings here at our Lake of the Ozarks. So come out this Thursday night and vote for your favorite restaurant. Now, cash prizes are going to be awarded for the top three wings, and there will even be a Winner's Choice Trophy presented. Now, establishments that are participating in this this year's Wing Fest include H Toad's Bar and Grill, Half Sauce Barbecue, Papo's Pizzeria and Pub, Wobbly Boots Roadhouse, Wicked Willies, Tucker Shuckers, The Lodge of Four Seasons, and Redhead Lakeside Grill. And this event offers all you can eat wings, plus, you get two drinks, and the cost is just $10 per person if you buy tickets in advance and you can pick those up at any central bank lake of the ozarks locations or you can purchase them the night of the event for 12 bucks at the door and once more now proceeds for this year's wing fest will go towards lake area charities and the event is going to take place this thursday night from 5 to 8 p.m at campana hall at the lodge of the four seasons and i will see you there the Lake of the Ozarks is full of great art, and now is your chance to purchase your newest piece at fractions of the price. The Lake Arts Council is having a huge blowout art sale with pieces as affordable as $5 all the way up to $350. These pieces are unique and will even come framed. The art sale will take place this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Stonecrest Mall, and proceeds will go to fund art events for the next year. Also on Saturday, it's the Lake Regional Cares for Kids Festival at Lake Regional Hospital in Osage Beach. The festival will include a free hot dog lunch, ambulance and helicopter tours for the kiddos and probably myself, along with kids' obstacle courses, pumpkin painting, and much more. Now also, kids dressed in costumes will be entered to win prizes that day, so come wearing your best costumes, kids, and come out and enjoy this free family fall festival at Lake Regional Hospital from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. this Saturday. That's all for this week's Lake of the Ozarks Weekly Report. Be sure to check us out on social media and be on the lookout as Lake TV will be upping our Facebook giveaways game drastically here in the near future. Yeah, that's right, Ashley. We've actually got a lot of gift certificates and prizes that we need to give out, so stay tuned for that. And like you said, that's happening on our Facebook page. That, and correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't playoff high school football start this weekend? It does indeed, so no correction needed, Ashley. All of our Lake Area schools open up with their first district playoff game, and Lake TV makes their way back into Eldon to bring you the Mustangs game against Buffalo. Now, actually, Eldon had an outstanding year. They finished 8-1 and one on the regular season, and they're currently ranked 6th in the Missouri Class 3 state rankings. The Mustangs will look to start their run to the state final this Friday at Victor Field, and you can catch all the action right here on Lake TV, starting with our Burger Smokehouse pregame show at 640. Other schools in action include Osage playing at Springfield Catholic, Versailles playing against El Dorado Springs, California will play Lamar, and the Camdenton Lakers get a rematch against Hillcrest. Yeah, it'll be exciting for sure, so good luck to all of our local teams in action. And that's it for this edition of the Weekly Report. On behalf of Andrew Evans, Ashley Kyle, and our entire news team from here at Lake TV, I'm William Holtz. Be blessed and stay classy. Lake of the Ozarks, and go Cubs!